Hello, YouTube. So I hadn't planned on uh, recording quite this early, but I, I'm experiencing the weirdest bug I have ever seen in my life. I'm in the nether right now, and there are cows that are jumping up and down on the nether rack. So I just had to show this to you. And if anyone else experiences this bug, please let me know, because this is, this is actually really funny. I don't know how serious this is, but right now it's just great for comic effect. And yep, bend down. And I'll oh, check this out too. Um, I think I'm going to find one. They actually do... Is that one? No. I've seen a couple of them that actually do that into the lava. So I don't know if it's a, some kind of a dimensional issue or what. Oh, oh there, there is. There is. You see that? Look, look, look at that. It, it even has the lava particle effects. That is weird. Okay, I'm with the episode. Ah. So, we are once again leaving the overworld, and are heading up into our space station. We're just passing the cloud level now, and then the chariot clouds. And we are up into the, well, not, not outer space, but definitely the uh, near space. So, hopefully this mission will be very quick, and we will actually not return by the same way that we came. Because today, I'm going to put in place an enhanced portal on our space station. Now, I did, I did watch the episode of the Attack of the Bee Team, the, the official one, uh, from, with Generic B, uh, who, who expressed that he had, he had a problem with the, um, what do you call it, with, uh, uh, with, the, with the enhanced portals to inside a, uh, a sealed oxygen environment. Something to do with the way that the uh, oxygen sealer interacts with enhanced portals. So I think based on that, I'm, I'm going to put my portal outside. You know, this is actually this, this is our second trip to our, our space station. I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to land. So, so, I'm glad about our parachute. Let's find out. Uh, okay, so that's what that, 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 that thing is for. Cool. We are once again on Space Station Bravo. How to get used to the gravity again. Okay, let's, let's do a quick check. See how fast I move and everything. Okay, so I'm not seeing the parrot. Oh, there it is. Is that our parrot chest? Yep, that's our parrot chest. Cool. So we have the fuel, which remember from last episode, we cannot use a bucket for. We have to use an empty liquid canister in order, in order to get that fuel out. Excellent. So I'll leave it in there for for a moment. So uh, right now, I know I have to go and I have to fix the 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 oxygen situation. That's, that's our main issue at the moment. I'm actually really pleased this thing turned out as, as well as it did. So one thing I, I I came to realize is that I'm not I don't have a lot of room here. So I think the best way to put place to put the um the portal is either over this way, pass here and move this, which I'm not sure I really want to do, or build out another platform over here. So I brought some uh, stone brick with me. I can easily make some more because I have a cobblestone generator and I brought with me several full hardened energy cells. So I'm going to go over and, and build another platform here. So be right back. Okay, I've got a little platform over here, over over to our, uh, I guess it would be the north north side. And uh, I know this doesn't look very good. Oh, I forgot the glass. Oh, well, good thing this is a short trip. I forgot to bring the glass to replace this cobblestone along, along the way. So I brought some obsidian with me, and I should get a little more thought to where I'm going to place it, but I guess over here would be good. I do want to have it be a step up. Um, actually, I, almost, I should probably put steps in front of it. I'll do that in a minute. But put this here. And I know I, know I could use the uh, the, 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 the new um, uh, new uh, Enhanced Worlds 2 to configure this pretty much any way I wanted to, but I kind of like the traditional uh, look of the thing. So Portal Modifier. In place. This should be what we're looking for. Put dialing device. I don't know if it has to be on the same level, actually, or if it can be one below. Well, let's find out. Okay, so portal modifier. I'm going to call this one Gold Nugget. And I'm going to insert. Dimension and dialing upgrade, same, just exactly the same as the other two portals, the one in the overworld and the one in the nether. So, okay. So let's try this. 
add diamond, and that's overworld. And add nether, that one is emerald. So let's try dialing the overworld. Oh, I, no, sorry. I, I have to get the steps in place first because otherwise I'll, I'll just fly up and want to try and jump over the one block. <laughs> Not quite used to going to being back in space. Oh, I need a little more actually. Okay, where did I put? Oh, yeah, I put it over there to be, to be trying to be convenient. I'm probably need some more down the line. Okay, so let's put this here. I don't, I'm pretty sure this will not interfere with the portal. Let's find out. So overworld, dial, connection. Oh, looks good. Got it. We are good. Sweet. Okay, so this, I want to add the portal from where we just came from. Cool. Now I can go back to it any time I want. Neat. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to grab some stuff. Most of it will be the, the, the uh, glass and be right back. Okay, I've made some definite progress around here. Knocked out most of the cobblestone and replaced it with nice clean glass. Unfortunately, it's nighttime right now, so I'm going to have to wait un until the sun comes up to, to try this new setup. So here's what I have. I have sealable oxygen pipe and sealable heavy aluminum wire going into, into this oxygen sealer. Once I get enough power reserve, and I probably wants to think I actually have it, but let me try this thing. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. So let me, let me review this, shall we? So I think the problem is this. Right now, I've got this mess thing here teed off one into this heavy aluminum wire sealable and one over here to this oxygen collector and compressor. Right now, this one has enough oxygen, but there's no power, and this one has a surplus of, of oxygen uh, and power, so that one is fine. These, on the other hand, apparently are, are, have, are pretty good. This was actually a full battery, but I can't quite get it to translate over, and I'm not sure why. I do not want to have to break this thing. Oh, hang on. It did something. It changed. That looks like it changed. Yeah, okay, so let's say it is actually transferring a little bit of power. So I might have a seal with just surplus energy. Now, if you remember, I had to install that second power power source because I wasn't getting enough of a surplus overnight in order to get this thing to work. Let's see. Oh, we have power and we have oxygen. Okay, this is using 320 oxygen per second and it is sealed. However, it does not have enough NFO2 and that makes perfect sense because this was the problem we had before. But this is excellent. This, this is great. We have the power situation in hand. And I love that. So next, next thing you have to do is we have to increase the output of this oxygen collector. Right now it is outputting 160. So we have to double this essentially, which shouldn't be too difficult considering right now we only have about one, uh, I'd say one quarter of what I want to put into it and maybe about only, and only a maximum of about a half of what it could be. Okay, so whatever that error was I was getting in the nether before, I am also seeing it up in space. So it's some kind of dimension thing. I don't know what it is, but those are space cows. Kind of cool, actually. <laughs> All right, I'm going to uh, shear these trees, probably plant a couple more, and get this half cube. I can't do a full cube because I don't have enough space. I could do an, uh, a full one if I wanted to move the, the oxygen collector up here, but... And I also have to run lines down in order to connect it back to the oxygen compressor. I'm not planning to do it at the moment. Plus, I have a portal now. So this is all kind of superfluous. On the other hand, I really want this thing to be not exactly authentic, but as sort of redundant as I can manage it. So I'll be right back. Whew. Well, that took me a lot longer than I thought it would. I think it took me almost two or three full, at least three, at least two, probably three Minecraft days to gather enough wood to cover this. Now... I'm a little bit confused by the by the actual um, uh, mechanics of leaf decay. So I put a couple of extra wood blocks uh, throughout this thing, make sure it wouldn't decay fast. So let's take a look at this. This should be, I think this is five high, or yeah, this is this should be five high. No, what is this? Not, this is more than five. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Why the heck did I put seven? This thing won't pick up that that much. Okay. Uh. Phew. Okay. So uh, do as I uh, suggest, not as I do. Oh, speaking of which, my oxygen is about to run out. Well, one of the things I did was I went back to the overworld and picked up my, my supply of uh, bone segments from the nether. So I've got some spare of those. Oh, actually, I can use that here. So this thing, because of the reach, should now be half ideally efficient. Let's see how much it is, is now uh, collecting. It is collecting 900 per second. Excellent! That is three times as much as a, as a sealer said it would need. So let's check it out. This out. This thing, because it now because it has this surplus of power, not a lot of surplus must be added. Oh, that's the next next thing I'm going to get to. But let's just check this out. Okay. So, sealed using 320 per second. So this thing has an excess of 600 oxygen per second, and it's not even fully efficient. That is a half efficiency collector, fully taking care of this little chamber. I, th I mean, it's hard to tell. Uh, I think I think this thing was originally I think it was 160. No, it wasn't. Okay, I also review the tape to remember what uh, the uh, oxygen. Um, demands were when I first put this thing online, but I'm wondering how much farther I can actually make this thing. I mean, I, I could definitely double it, possibly even triple this size. So it's not entirely possible I could build something similar to this on the moon. Well, I'm going to, as a point of fact. But now we finally get to the thing which several episodes ago as I was going to get to, which is some of the space science. Now, basically, I built these two little containers here, and I want to see how they fare. This is our first space chicken that is falling through the fence. Hmm. Okay, I thought that they they didn't. Did you just? How do you get through that? Okay, so chicken experiment not totally successful. Let's try the mushroom. Success. These are our first uh, breathable creatures in the space station Bravo. So now we have an infant supply of mushroom stew. Very happy about that. And we have trees so we can make bowls very easily. So this is now, I think, a self-sustained environment. Oh, I'm also very pleased these glowstone blocks are sealable. So I don't have to worry about worry with um, redstone, redstone blocks. Cool. So all I have to do now, because I'm not sure why this didn't work, but all I have to do is make a second pen right here for for the chicken, and we'll have we have eggs from Food Plus, and we have mushroom stew from Vanilla. In addition to having wheat and nether and, and um, nether wort here, we can grow our own food. We we can we can have some of our animals. We can probably even breathe our animals. Oh, what I want to check. What is, I, I don't think so. But I'm wondering if this seal. No, it's the same. Although it is about to lose power. Uh oh. No, oh, get back in your. Okay, we got a problem. We got a problem. Who? Hmm. Okay, well, good to know. So this thing does have enough oxygen. However, the power situation is definitely not ideal. Next up on our list, well, first thing, I'll check off. We increase our our yield of oxygen to more than than than, than it's sufficient. However, it's not ideal. Okay. Sun is just coming up, so this thing should now be picking up more power. So it almost had enough to go through a night without picking up more. This, however, should help. I brought with me two more advanced solar panels. I'm going to hook them up right here. I know they have to be two blocks away. I'm actually making it safer and making them three blocks away. So one here, one here. Hit them with my Invar bow. Oh, I think I made this off camera. This is an Invar bow wrench. It's basically the same as the Invar wrench. The only difference being that you can actually use it as a sword, so it's, uh, it's plus six attack damage. Yeah, useful extra thing. Well, I think we need to activate this. Yes, enable and enable. So need uh, the, uh, these uh, right now should be generating 16 kilowatts, which should be translating into this thing. But this has actually a pretty high draw on it. Hmm. So at the moment, it's it's okay. Oh, yep. It is slowly picking up a little bit of a, of a surplus. I like that. And 
this thing has nothing in here at the moment. Let me drop a tank in there, might as well. So now that we have, we have we've doubled our power and we have uh, tripled our oxygen income, this space station is open. The space station is in good shape. Uh, we, even, we even have this, this seal here. Okay, now, one thing I was kind of confused about is that my, as I think this sealer checks for a seal every five seconds. So I think that means uh, that I have to have to wait five seconds between opening the outer seal and the inner seal. But I've been doing it so far and it seems to, be, it seems to not be having a problem at all. Okay, so right now this, this thing is, seems to be functioning fine. So let's, let, let, let's, let's return the mushroom and he'll be kind of like our canary in the coal mine. If he, if he dies, we know there's a problem. And I have more back at the base, so I can easily make more. Excellent. I'm going to pick, make a little pen for, for the chicken and be right back. Yeah, if he gets out, I'll know that I, you know, I, I have trouble with that. There might be another way to, to seal him in. I just really don't know off the top of my head. So from him, we'll, we'll get eggs, and they'll be flying all over the place. And from him, we'll get food. I like it. I like it a lot. I think we 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 finally I think uh to use to use the uh, the common term conquered space. I've got enough spa have some spare stone brick in here. Uh, there's just cobble from last, last run in there. So there's just storage. I have two spare tanks here. I've got a whole bunch of spare building materials, and I have food in here, including some extra paradox for making more axes when I'm about to run out. I think we are in good shape. Let's head back outside. And hmm, I'm trying to think. I am going to leave the fuel loader here. I'm going to because it, it does have a lot of fuel in it. But I don't want to waste that. I'm also going to leave, leave a hardened energy cell here for when I want to use it. In that case, I've got the cobblestone generator. At this point, I see no reason to move it. I have a spare block breaker, so I'm going to make a new one when I go to get to the moon. This, on the other hand, I think I'm going to take with me. And in the, the fuel canister, if I can get the room. And I can break this para chest. Which is actually pretty useless, but, um, you know, that's, I, I shouldn't, shouldn't litter space unnecessarily. So, yeah. Now, the only danger, though, is that if, if if for some reason the portal fails, I won't be able to really get to get down back to back to uh, the overworld. Then again, I don't really want to make a leave a, a second spaceship here, given how hard it was to build the first one. So I think I'm, I'm just going to carry the, the ship with me and head back to the overworld. Very cool. So what's next on the agenda? Well, um, as I said in our last episode, I still need to work a lot on the um, uh, on my plumbing and wiring. It's it's screwy, and I'm not sure why exactly. My my magma system is well. I mean, let me, let me show it to you. So I got a little bit of time left. This is the the, the um the one half of my second my my my, my Mark II version of a magma uh, well. I have a magma crucible in here providing fuel to four magmatic dynamos. The magma crucible is fully powered but has no why isn't that working? Oh okay that's a little bit screwy. Hold on a second, I think I, I think I can explain this. Yep, there we go. Okay, so that that, that was uh um, a little messed up. Okay, so, so long story short, I I had to switch my materials in 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 the in the, in the um in uh, in in this system. The reason being, ideally, yes, I would use cobblestone here. However, the the the, the number of magmat magmatic dynamos I would need in order to there, okay, it's my hand duct. The number of, of magmatic dynamos I would need in order to get that working, I think, is like six per. So it's really not feasible at the moment. Drop that. Install that. Ignored. And drop in. I just just once a quick run of netherrack. My question now is why is this not being picked up and put into the magmatic the, the crucibles? The answer is I don't know. 
Oh, yes, I do. Because I'm an idiot. I forgot to set the input on, the, on, on, on these things. So this one's set. This has to be output. You know, this thing isn't active at the moment. I still need to, basically, I need, I need, I took a resonant uh, portable tank here, filled it with lava from the nether, and I basically <laughs> filled each of these in order to jumpstart the system. The, the thing is, I'm kind of not sure how much energy I can really get out of this thing. Right now, I have this thing putting the input at 50, and I was kind of worried about doing it that high, to be honest. So I'm going to increase it to, uh, you know, I'll go for broke and try 200. The reason being, the magnet crucible here, according to this, is using 400 RF per tick. Why is it using 400 RF per tick now and was it all screwy beforehand? Duh. Okay, so this thing, a little bit derpy. Don't know why. I pro Probably something very simple I'm doing wrong, so whatever. So input, let's increase it to 1,000. No, sorry, that's, that's the idiotic. Because if I, if I drain that, if I do that, it will drain the system. These are outputting 80 RF per tick. There are four of them. Therefore, this system is producing 240 R RF per tick. For some reason, this thing is si Excuse me. For some reason, the, the crucible is saying that it is using 400 RF per tick, which makes no sense because it cannot be taken using that much unless, of course, it was working off of its stored energy reserve. That makes sense. Okay. Backing it down, so let's bring it down to 200. I had it, so that should be safe enough for it to work. And this thing is gaining power very, very slowly. Not ideal. This, this, this thing is not ideal. And for some reason, it's not as reliable a source as my previous system for some reason. I think it's just because it hasn't had enough time to build up enough of a charge. That's probably it. Plus, I'm using a resonant en energy cell, so I'm I'm using a, a sort of an impossible standard. This thing has now got... Uh, is that really... Wait a minute, that... This thing has 9 million RF at the moment. Is that right? Okay, so unless I'm, unless I'm mistaken, I can't read. 1, 2, 3. Yeah, 9 million. So this is stupendous amount of energy. However, I am going to need a lot of it at the moment. So uh, what still needs to be done is I need to run uh, these redstone energy conduits all over my base, most notably uh, to my MFR system, and I need to run two sets of two lines of, of liquid duct to, uh, to sorry fluid duct through my MFR to separate sewage and and mob essence. Hello, how you doing? She's still a little derpy right now. In order, and I need to relocate my auto spawner down by the, the Darwin's mobs. So that's all stuff I'm going to do off camera because it's mostly just you know. Uh, wiring work but uh, we did it we, we now have a portal into space so we, we, we've got we've got our, our our foothold in space our next step is the moon now we're gonna do a couple things different when we get to the moon um, I, I can use I know I can use the, the, the same uh, rocket so I'm just gonna put that set up that up right now where is my rocket oh there it is tier one rocket with storage there's the loader, so I always do next to the loader. Install that. I can use this this same rocket uh, when, when, when I get to uh, in order to get to the moon. And it, it will. I believe either I think it it functions similar to a parachute, and it will generate a lander, and I will be able to pick up the uh, the, the my, my materials my materials that way. Um, however, one thing I'm going to try this, and once I get there is because now I'm having such a great time with my auction setup, I'm going to try and use, in addition to the normal sealed environment, a, uh, where is it? A, yeah, that's that. Here we go. Auction bubble distributor. I want to try and use, and use that to work with too. I also, as I said before, I want to try and make some kind of a garden on the moon. So I'm bringing blocks, dirt, dirt box with me i have two spare tanks to leave up on the moon i got four solar panels i still need to get a lot of the infrastructure together i need to make a stockpile of stone brick you know i'm also going to bring the cobblestone generator to make a uh, new cobblestone generator to make more uh, stone brick that way so a lot of little details a lot of little things to do but long story short we are we are going to the moon um not next episode, but fairly soon. I've also got a lot of stuff I, I want to do around here. And some of it I'll do on camera, some of it I'll do off camera. So 
I think I think uh, we're hit, are hitting uh, about or near the 20 minute mark. So this has been Kankadia for Attack of the B Team, and I'll see you all next time.